<laughs> thought leader ads, they're gonna be crazy. Thought leader ads, if you don't know what they are, it's a new ad format in LinkedIn where you essentially can take an organic post that someone posts from your company and sponsor it. Like you would run ads to an account list or certain titles, but instead of it coming from the company, it comes from the person that posted it, actual organic posts. Comments and likes and all the social proof comes with it. And in beta, I missed the beta because I missed the email for it and that's on me. And I'm not gonna get mad about it. Others did. And I actually just got off a podcast with Button Blinken and Logan Miles. Brittany had access through metadata uh, for the beta program they ran it and saw some really interesting results. But let me tell you how crazy this is gonna be for people that do it right. First thing first, it's the reels. They're actually gonna come from the person rather than the company. There, we're already in an amazing world. You notice, but people buy from people. This is why it's exciting. Because you can take an organic post that has done well, or even doesn't do well, and advertise to the right people with that post. Right now, people just do screenshots of it. The problem with that is it doesn't look as good, and it doesn't come with the social proof that's already attached to it. So all that engagement's already there, and if someone likes it, the engagement goes up. They also don't completely re-click an ad, which is always a good thing. Now, obviously, one key thing about that is you need to have someone post organically from your company. This could be your CEO, could be a subject matter expert. If you already have someone active on LinkedIn, posting regularly, you better start getting someone. Whether you have that person internally or not, this is actually a way to level the playing field a little bit because we see it all the time. You know, your reach only gets so far. If you post on LinkedIn, your reach dies after one day, two days, tops. This actually allows you to expand it and get in front of the right people because see if the content actually resonates. You not want it to be content that's just like, oh, buy my stuff. Do not do that. If it's content people will like, that's, this, you can especially tell if it's like organically validated, so it gets a bunch of engagement. It's an easy way to say, okay, let's advertise it to the right people. It doesn't always have to be something that actually takes off an organic. You see it all the time. Someone's like, oh, I didn't get a lot of reach. I didn't get a lot of engagement. I got two new leads from it. I got two new customers. Take those, spend the extra dollars to get in front of your exact buyer, get more leads, get more customers. This thing is gonna be a gold mine. I believe it's coming out in uh, beta in June-ish. People that use it are gonna be pretty happy. The people that don't, well, I'll save you a pineapple half ring. <laughs>